Sagittarius, uh, Russell Crowe, Brandon Lee, Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, a Capricorn, Linda, Belinda, uh, Laura, L uh, Liz, Taylor, Tyler, Tarot, Tanya, Great Britannia, someone from Britain, Brian, Beth, Beth, Beth Lee, Hem, uh, Flem, some of you could, <sighs> some of you could be Fleming or spitting on someone's knob or dick, I really don't know. Uh, someone could be wet and dripping like a fuck fridge. I really don't know. Where are we going? Uh, lost, Virgo, seem to be losing you. Someone might be losing someone but gaining something else, going from one to another or something to do around your mother. So if you didn't know Sagittarius, I do a load of weird channeling for a start. We kind of put loads of names, figure it all out. And then we do your channel and then we do, then we do your card reading. So I'm hearing uh, something to do around, I seem to be losing my faith or losing my religion, or R-E-M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. And I seem to be losing my mum or something to do around children. Uh, so I don't know if any of you have got a mum that's poorly at the moment or something like that, okay, or I seem to be losing someone. Okay, so it might be where there's an ending that's coming up, like Jim Morrison, so that would be Jim, Julian, any J's. Okay, or Melissa Maria, Michael Jackson, we've gone through all of those. But there's an energy here of like, I seem to be losing something, but I'm just about to gain something here. Because I'm feeling like someone's worrying that it's going to be a loss of someone. Okay. Uh, seems to be around a Capricorn or a Gemini. Capricorn or Gemini. Don't forget Sagittarius before we also begin. Pack it up, pack it in, M and M. Okay. <laughs> so um, I read in numerology, which means that a Sagittarius is a five, life path five, Sagittarius or Taurus, you can watch any of those readings, even if you don't have Taurus in your chart, you can watch Taurus, Sagittarius, life path fives. So if I say like Gemini can be a Capricorn, okay, because it's a six, that's how I read, I read in the actual numbers, okay, helps me channel. Um, so channel tunnel, channel Tate. my name is Jeff, Jeff and Steph, someone could be deaf. <laughs> uh, or the Channel Tunnel can be something to do around someone from Britain or London or France, Belgium or so. Some of you might be travelling quite a lot. You could be dealing with like a Life Path 7 or a Cancerian for a lot of you. And there seems to be a lot of travelling. This could also be like a long distance call or a long distance relationship. Call me! Al, Alison, Abigail, Amber, Heard, uh, Life Path 5, Amber, Amanda, <laughs> Amanda and Belanda. Amanda, um... But like long distance travel, long distance tour and breaks, my, one of my favourite bands, tour and breaks. So you really could have something to do around putting your brakes on for a lot of you. So you might be having a Darren, so you be could, with, with a D, anybody's got D in their name, but like having an MOT for, I've said this in the last reading, it's funny because like, um, sorry, but I've got like a Taurus descending, I have Taurus in my, um, uh, what do you call it, a Vedic chart, so it kind of comes up. I've got to have my MOT done on the 16th of March. Um, so MOT, again, it came up in another reading. That is someone that has to have their car fixed, and we call it a Darren, because I know a Darren Mott, or used to know a Darren Mott, and slang is, you're right, brother, you're getting on, I've got to go and have a Darren, right? So initial name is Darren, or Dan, or Danielle, or Debbie, D uh, Debs, 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 Dempsey and make peace. Let's make peace. Peace, man. What is it? Uh, Paul McCartney or John Lennon? So John or L, J or L, J and L, J and L. Um, I'm also hearing a company, something that's like of J and L, J and L Limited or something, Company Limited. Um, but anyway, let's go back to it. So like having uh, a yearly check of your car, you take it in and it says, okay, you probably need a new tire. You've got to have like an oil filter and that'll last you throughout the year. 50 quid off, off the shoulder. There you go. MOT, right? So some of you might be having that motor, motor in something or other. I forget what it stands for, but MOT. Some of you could be a divorcee. Also, I'm hearing devoted Debbie uh, Capricorn. Hopelessly devoted to you. So there's a Virgo energy here, a life path nine. Completely devoted. Okay. I'm dedicated. Dedication is what you need. Roy Castle, someone from Castleton, or up north, or from Dudley. Uh, but like Castleton. Okay, like Castle Rock. So like Manchester. Hey, you like there, Steve from fucking Manchester. I think we said this before when it's been coming up. It's like fucking Birkenhead or some... <laughs> Birkenhead, Manchester or Leeds or something like that, Sheffield, uh, so up north, um, but anyway, so you kind of got those messages, divorcee, some of you could have something to do with around a divorce situation, 
um, or maybe seeing someone that's already in a, a in a commitment or marriage or marry marry Mari Melissa Maria um, Maria you've got to see her Libra is there a Libra energy here and you've got to see her I've got to see it to believe it can't believe my eyes oh what big eyes you've got Someone likes someone's eyes, okay, or they're looking directly at them and they're saying, I really like your eyes and I really like this about you and I really like that. Something about someone's eyes, maybe, but the window of the soul. So it could be a soulmate. Some of you, like I said, it could be a new person that seems to be coming your way. Um, Wayman, also in Caroline, Wayman, Ralph, uh, Richard. Anybody's got R in their name, Rich, Richie, Rich, Rich Lops, Loops, uh, Richard, Rachel. Um, let's see, hold on a second, because I'm not really coming up with any like messages. What can Sagittarius, before we do their reading, Spirit, what messages have we got for them other than just names? Four, Scorpio placements, Aries placements, looking after this four. For sure. To be sure, to be sure, to be sure. Someone from Ireland or Idaho. Someone could be a hoe. I don't really know. It could be a poet and you don't even know it. Um, coffee. Some of you might be coffee. Drinking coffee. So, uh, I mean, I'm addicted to coffee. Some of you could make and drink a lot of coffee because I'm hearing co Charlotte or Charlotte or Charlatans. Um, some of you are own coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee, right? Who doesn't like coffee? Anybody don't like coffee? Fucking love coffee. It's the one thing I can't give up. Um, I'm also hearing a song for you. I want to sex you up. Oh, you could be sexting someone. Texting or sexting quite a lot. Like, <laughs> you're right. Some of you might have a Harry Potter's wand or something like that. And you might be like sexting, like flirting over messages or messenger. The Devil's Messenger. So someone's around a Capricorn. A Capricorn. Okay, because that would be the crow. So that would be Brandon Lee. Uh, Linda Louise. Lewis. Lewis I'm also saying Linda Lewis. Or Lewis. The name Lewis. Um, or Lee. Um, but then I'm hearing something to do around the Devil's Messenger. Which is a crow. So it's either birds. Or it's just someone messaging someone that is of like... Capricorn or Gemini because numerology is going to fuck y'all up so if you really don't understand me in numerology you've really got to kind of figure that out right because it's it'll open up a whole new world three Pisces so some of you are dealing with a Piscean across the world because the world card is a three that's my Pisces card it's a whole new beginning and a whole new world that is opening up to me someone's opening up they're they're like opening up like s expressing themselves very well maybe well like this right online okay like dating online or like opening up to someone online and i'm kind of like talking to you online now you either do this as a job or your name's rob robin robert rachel richard evans barry or dina okay but like like traveling is here and there's a long distance energy in my because i trust me i see cards before i read them again for you skeptics out there you don't always need cards to read people if you're a psychic <laughs> so i'm seeing the world in my head right and i'm or the name ed edwina eddie edwina curry some of you might be eating a lot of curries okay okay so two more messages oh man i need a pen and paper because here we go download um Edwina Curry, you might be eating curry, okay, or Curry's is also a shop where you order things online and you buy it, like a a product of like, it's normally uh, electronic, unless you are getting vibrators, but, <laughs> but like uh, Curry's or Very, and you order it from a club book, a bit like Prime really, but like Curry's is a shop you go into here in Britain and you order some products, okay. So you might be ordering products or you work in a shop or something where people come in and you take down orders and you're kind of like, okay, what would you like, madam? Blah, blah, blah. Let me just take down your order. Order, 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 Laura, court disorder. Some of you have got ADD like myself. Um, attention deficit. Attention, please. Would the real fucking attention deficit person still stand up? 
So, so you might be, you might have ADD like myself. Uh, they are not the cause of a problem if you are in relationships. Um, cause and effects with an ex. It's causing an effect on my ex. Someone might be about to become an ex. X Men, Marvel, Teen, Tina, Tina, Talia, Tina, Italian. Someone's Italian, or slap your sausage and fucking slap your meat. Someone might be slapping their bishop. Don't slap an actual bishop unless you're from the UK, and then you know what slapping your bishop is. Hey, it's basically knocking one out, Sagittarian. So, like, slap me bishop or slap me bitch up. So, some of you might be into like, meow, meow, meow. Some of you could be dealing with a pussy. That would mean a Leo or an Aquarian placement. Um, slap me pussy. Someone's slapping someone's silver or slapping someone's pussy. Let's hope someone doesn't slap someone around the face here. Rachel, race, face, race. You're right, face, race. How are you anyway? Um, did you make those tarot cards yet? I think you have, but you never got back to me. I said I was going to help you sell them on here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if any of you guys are very good at arts, right, and you've got like a design product thing or whatnot, let me know, man. Okay. I'll help you out. Um, but like, um, that's if you're selling a product, okay, and you want help building up a business. Um, what else have we got for Sagittarian? Red Ram, Virgo. I'm running from someone. I want to run from you to you. Could be a new number two here, like a two of cups. And someone want like a life path seven or a Cancerian, and they want to run from someone to someone. And I believe that they may be setting up a situation like, like a door, and it opens like Jim Morrison, right? And it opens as one's closing out. Another one transitions from to another person. A lot of people do this. I don't know why a lot of people say that that's weird or strange. I don't believe so, no. I think if you're looking for love and you haven't got love and you want love or your name's love or you say love a lot. But like if you want love and you've got it but it's not really working out. A lot of people normally, they can meet people at the same sort of time that they're ending something and they kind of think, oh, I could really transition into this and kind of, you know, work around the energy and the time. So in like divine timing, it feels like divine timing is kind of pushing someone to finish a cycle or Michael or Melissa or M, M, Emily, Melissa, Mariah, Michael, Jackson, Julie, Mariah, Kerry, 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 Ken, Kanye West, Kanye West. Some of you from West, North, East, South, West. So you're from West. I actually went West yesterday. Uh, Birmingham. It's a fucking shithole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you're from around Birmingham, but it is an absolute dive. I went to Birmingham, felt very out of place in Birmingham, uh, and it was too busy, man. It was it was really, really busy. Uh, I fucking got lost, man. Like, it was... It was worse than London, driving in London. Any of you ever been to Britain and you've been to Birmingham? Birmingham? It's like near Dudley. We went to Dudley and had a very nice time. Like, but Dudley? But like, <laughs> but Birmingham itself, oh my God. Like, it was, oh, <laughs> there was roadworks everywhere. And it's like, okay, navigational system on a car and you're driving. Please take the next left. And the, you can't. And there's roadworks everywhere and you can't. And then it says, okay, please go all the way round again to take you back to where you can't go. And there's people running across the road. There's fucking, like, chaos everywhere. I'm like, I've got to get out of here, man. I'm having, like, a fucking panic attack, Dave. So I couldn't do it. <laughs> so I went. So I left, went home. But, well, I went to Dudley. I went to Dudley. Dudley was very nice. I actually met someone. You might be on here, actually. I don't know what your name is. I met someone and told her that I was a psychic medium. I forget what she said that she was. I think it was a Capricorn, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, so where are we going with your reading, Sagittarian? I think that's it. I think it's a transition here. Transition radio. Angel, you might like my angel radio. If you're joining the competition, okay, find the video and leave your story, okay? Um, and I'll write a rap about you. Um... Anything that's really important. Transitioning. Let's look at that one. I'm transitioning. I'm going through something, okay, and I'm transitioning. It's either like I've just moved or I am moving. 
or I'm going from one person maybe transitioning to another person or I'm gone from one job and I've left my job and I'm in transition over to another job or I'm like going from like, I don't know, fucking college to school to college or moving from one place to another place. Place could be a fish because that's cod, haddock, place, fish, Piscean. There's the world energy. And then you've kind of got this communication transport. You might work for a company, transport company. Or you're transitioning, moving. Like physically moving or moving jobs, house or people or relationship or all of it. And like, it's just like, what the fuck has just happened? Like I've gone from here to here and all of a sudden things are starting to happen because I've now moved. Okay. Some of you, it could be a job though, because I'm hearing like transitioning from one job to another job. Okay. So if you don't understand what a psychic medium actually does, you're probably going to find me really fucking weird or I'm going to freak you out. If you give it time and you've just joined and you give it time, I will channel your story. I will physically come up with it, but you've got to be watching for me to do it and you've got to understand. Okay. So transitioning, moving, maybe apartment, apartment stores, apartment store. Something's happening or happened around your work, like around work. Like say, because I'm picking up people that work in a shop, right? And I'm transitioning from an, uh, an apartment or an apartment store. So there are two different things here. An apartment is like my own place. Okay, so it could be a fish. Or like, or life path three. And then I've kind of got this energy here where it's an apartment store. So it means like I work at uh, fucking Tesco's. I don't know, right? And they sell loads of product. Okay, and I've gone, been told to move from here over to another department. Say they're selling clothes over there. They sell fucking something over there. But in this apartment, they sell clothes. And I've been gone over from there over to here to now, like, say, work for the same company. But I've been, like, in a, in a huge supermarket place, like, here. Okay. It's kind of what I'm picking up. Transition of job. Right. So, there you go. Um, Sagittarius. How you doing? Don't forget, Sagittarius, Taurus, or Life Path 5 people. Okay. I want to live like common people. I want to live like common people do. Jarvis, Cocker, Cock Frost. Um, I want to live like common people. I want to sleep with common people like you. Some of you are very common. Or you live at Cambridge, where I'm living. Cambridge here, Cambridge, uh, which is the common. So you might be going to Cambridge or something like that. The common common or you're just very common like me he doesn't give a fuck just like oh, I'm just common common as fuck bro people people very common oh, alright how are you getting on fanny that's like common like uh, don't really care <laughs> you know here so let's see we're not oh, oh hello daffers oh, how are you going oh fuck off just like I'm very common you know it's just it is what it is right let's see <laughs> um Commonwealth, the Commonwealth. There is something to do around Britain here. The Commonwealth, wealthy. Someone's very wealthy. Someone that could have quite a lot of money, Jenny, and they're very wealthy. Okay, well off. Well, well off. I mean, what's wealth? <laughs> Can't put a price on money, Jenny, but like wealthy. Okay, wealthy. Can afford stuff, right? It's not broke. So if you're stony broke, that's like I've got no money. Okay, no money. So some of you might be struggling around your finances, but you've got someone here that's very stable. So it could be your partner, okay, or someone of interest anyway. Interest. Someone's got a lot of money and they're putting it in a bank to gain interest. It's like moving accounts and moving it across to gain interest into something here. Or I'm gaining interest in you. Someone's very interested in you. Ooh, where are we going? Shall we keep channeling for a little while? Someone's very interested in you. Like, I find you very intriguing, dear Watson. Some of you could be some, for someone from Britain. But, like, um, I find you very interesting. Interesting. Intriguing. I'm very intrigued. I'm very eager. 
Igor, um, very eager to see you, very eager to talk to you. Like, sitting on, like, huh? Some of you could be fucking, I don't know, in a chair. Oh, I, actually, hold on a minute, my chair's coming soon. I've got a, a you know, I've got a sleep apnea, right? So for everybody that's been donating, I've spent your money wisely. Thank you so much for people that donate for my birthday on March 8th, by the way. Thank you, guys. But for the money that I got from you, I bought myself a reclining chair to help my sleep, sleep apnea. But someone could be jittering in a chair, whether well, you will if you've got ADD, or you're fucking in a chair, and it's like, let's do it in the chair. Okay? So, or you're like, like jittering quite a lot, moving. I mean, if you've got ADD, you'll do that here. Like, but some of you could be bouncing up and down on a knob. I'm just saying, here, ride me cowboy. <laughs> Someone's got an interesting sex life anyway. Ride them. Ride them. Raw hide. Raw hide. Heidi. Haley. Henry. Ah, uh, let's, let's go. Let's see. Um, Sagittarius. Do, do, do we want this card? Virgo, Life Path 9. Someone, I don't know where your channel message is coming from, because if this is transitioning, this is someone that's suffering through PTSD trauma presently, okay, or Elvis or Presley, but like, you know, is like just about to leave the building. Like I'm just about to leave, okay, or Lee. But I'm just about to leave because I'm confused. Like I'm fucking really confused. This is mental health also. And I've been shouting at people through my channel just lately. If someone has mental health and someone's been saying to them, listen, it's because you've got ADD. It's because you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention to me. You've got this, you've got that. You've got something wrong with you. That's gaslighting. Making someone feel as if they've done wrong in life. You've done wrong. You, you're fucking this relationship up because you're mentally ill. No, 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 no. Okay, so someone is going off someone, okay? Because this is quiet, reserved. It can be playing the quiet game, okay? Now I feel like you're intimidating me and you're going to do something and now I'm getting paranoid. There's a very broken energy here. Very broken. Broke back mountain. Or someone's really struggling financially. Or Nancy. Oh. But you've got Gemini here to save the day. Someone in a relationship presently keeps thinking that they can mend it. Mendez. They can fix it. You see, the trouble is Sagittarius. A lot of us, when we're with people, we don't want to leave them because we think, look, we can fix this. We can work on it, Michael Connett. But we can fix this. We can work on it. We can fix it. If this is Jim will fix it. No. Okay. But like, you know, like I can't fix you. But I'm not broken. Why do you need to fix me if I'm not broken? Why do you not love me for who I am? Because you should do. Okay. But the this is distrusting energy. You don't trust each other. If you're with someone here, it's like you don't trust them. Okay. Because it's kind of like, well, I don't really know what love is, Jenna. It's like, well, I know what love is. Okay. But this can't be love. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me no more. It can be like, I'm afraid. It can be afraid not, a Piscean energy. But it can also be uh, a timid Leo. Okay. This is normally my Virgo Life Path 9 card, roughly, sometimes. But, like, it can be like, now I'm playing the intimidating energy now, which is where I'm going to go timid quiet, reserved, not say anything. And then the other person's like, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing. You're like, what do you mean nothing? Like, well, something's wrong. No, I don't want to say anything. You're like, but you have, you're in confidence. Like, what's... I don't know, because the, the, the nine of ones can be a master plan. Okay, it can be the master of none. But like, um, a master plan... From Manchester, it should be Liam or Noel, Nigel, Nicole, Norman, Normington. Anybody's got N 
or so for anyone from New York City. Uh, sorry, but I channel when I read cards, right? From uh, NYC. Um, let's see. Sagittarius, what they've got coming up for next 48. Yeah, there's a difficult energy here around this queen of wanting to know something. It's kind of like the queen is trying to replace an energy. Okay, like I am trying to go through something and, and wonder why this person's so guarded and protected. But it's because of this. It's because of this. You're probably both protecting yourself from each other. That's why you're gaslighting one another. Because I told you, when one, if one suffers through huge amounts of PTSD and starts acting very weird and very strange, the other one thinks Stephen's strange, but starts to think, man, you're acting really strange. Yeah, but that's because you're fucking gaslit me. You've destroyed the trust. You've gone through like moments where I can't work out what the fuck you're saying. Like you're not making any sense. Like it just doesn't make sense. And uh, the queen is kind of like, well, you know, what do I do? Do I cut this off now? Or do I just prolong the agony and just keep going through it? It's kind of like ripping off that band-aid. It's like, I just, I don't want to go through this again. I don't want to have to do this again. But we are going through it again. So what do I do? Do I keep going through this again? Jen, Julian, Jason, Jason, Jackie, Jen, and Jack. Or do I just cut this off altogether? Okay. Because it's kind of like we can't be together. It's kind of like, how can, how can we be lovers if we can't be friends? Or, like, how can we keep doing this? Like, why do we keep doing this? How can this keep happening? Because someone could have been blaming someone that many fucking times that they're like, how the fuck can this keep happening? Like, if you keep saying that it's me, it's you, it's you, it's you, you're fucking paranoid, schizophrenic, delusional, fucking narcissist, blah, blah, blah. And it's you, and it's you, and it's you doing it, and it's you doing it, and it's you. And you're kind of like, man, I fucking feel ill. Like... Why do you keep telling me that I'm ill? I'm not ill. Okay, and it's kind of like, yeah, but it's you. And you're like, fuck, I've had enough of being fucking gaslit here. It's driven me crazy, right? Um, because it's a convincing energy. That's what I'm saying. It's someone that can try to convince the other person that it's their fault, right? So that means the person doesn't love you. It's not a love energy because you wouldn't destroy it. It wouldn't be destroyed if it was love, right, here. What is love, baby, don't hurt me? Right. Baby D? You're right, baby D, where have you been? Um, I need your loving like the sunshine. But why won't you let me near you? Oh, I don't know. Someone's guarded. But they're confusing. Let's see. Um, Sagittarius, what's going on with Sag for the next 48? Six of Wands. Moving away, moving on. Virgo, man, y'all got a lot of gaslighting here, I'm just saying. You could be going towards a Virgo for some of you, if you're, because you've got two Virgos, right? You've got one nine here. Let's go down on me. Are you ready? <laughs> right, but you've got um, this energy here, right? So let's show you. You've got a nine here that starts off a very difficult energy that I don't want to be in anymore, right? And I really feel like that I want to move on with my life. But there's another Virgo that someone feels that they could be happier with, or a Life Path 9, or a Gemini, or a Capricorn placement. But I feel like I could go in this direction and actually be more happy because this person can see me for who I am. They actually shine a light upon this whole situation, which means that they're here to kind of give energy, shine a light upon it, make a person realise what they're going through. So it can be support, okay? But it can be another person. So it's kind of like, you know, I want to support you. I, I love what you do. I support you. I'm your guide. I'm your garden angel or something where I'm here in order to lighten your load to help you here. Because there's an energy of narcissism and control, not really wanting to know if I can do it again. And if it ends up being the same person, it's kind of like trying to convince the person that things will be all right again to play out a whole new cycle in the world again, where your reading came up around the world. Can I keep going through this situation or do I just contemplate on cutting it off altogether and maybe finding this person that's just found me now? I've just found out about someone or I'm finding out. Or you already know. 
because I really, I, I really do keep picking up on two instances of people that have like Virgo, Life Path Nine energies here, but the other one might do as well. That's why you've got to know every motherfucker when you're dealing with people from the past or the future, and you know of them, you've got to know their star placements and their numerology. Okay, to know who exactly where and what here. Okay. Because this energy here is confiding in someone. I'm confiding and I've just found you. Can't believe that I've just found you. And I'm confiding in you to tell you about things that are going on here. Here. Could be dealing with a Taurus for a lot of you. Could be a good opportunity with maybe a Taurus. Uh, but that is also a five. Sagittarius, Taurus energy there. Um, wow. Pisces, Scorpio. You really could be dealing... This, this could be a new energy for you here underneath the deck. Someone that I'm going towards here. Um, let's see. Next 48 hours for Sagittarius. New person. I believe I really do. I keep picking up that there is someone here where this is like a friend or it starts off as friends, but it can be flirting because this can be like, oh, oh, hello. Like, who are you? But it's like getting to know someone of support. So what comes of this can be anything, but it is someone that is just found this person or this is a, someone that I know of. Okay. And I'm getting support by this person. And this energy here is kind of like I'm trying to get out of this. And all of a sudden, one door closes, this door opens, and it's either a friend or a person that can blossom into anything. Or the name Blossom. Okay. So, tell me more. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies, tell me, tell me lies. What's this nine of uh, wands for, for Sagittarius? Yeah, you see, childish. Even if this is not a new person, it's childish communication. You don't, know, you don't trust each other, that's why. Because this can be the silent game, like a narcissist plays a silent game, and they go timid, and they're like, no, but I didn't think that you wanted to talk to me. And you're like, why? What, why not? And kind of like, well, because I, I, I don't, and, I, and they go quiet and reserved, and they're like, okay, then I'm not going to communicate with you. I'll just put you in time out and not communicate. And they're kind of like, why can't you just communicate on a fucking sensible, like be a sensible person? Yeah, but I don't know whether to message you or not, and now because you're making me scared. So they play a victim, and they play a martyr. You know, you've got to know all the signs of narcissism, quiet, reserved, not speaking to a person. Then the other person says, yeah, but you're not speaking to me. And you're like, what do you mean I'm not fucking speaking to you? Why can't you act normal? Yeah, but you must be gaslighting me because you're not speaking to me and you're going off me. But what? Ah, ah. <laughs> and it's like dealing with a child, right? Actually dealing with a child. Here. So it's kind of like, okay, then I won't speak to you. And you're like, what, what? But why would you fucking do that in the first place? Like, why would you not do that? Yeah, well, I'm going to ghost you now and they'll not speak to you. And you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, it, because it's you not doing it. You're not reaching out to me. And you're like, well, it's because you fucking started it. Like, you, you, <laughs> and you're kind of like, oh, I don't get it, man. You're making me act like a child here. Like, I don't, like, if you're dealing with a wise older person, this person could be just too young, maybe. I just, I, I don't know. Um... But trust me, there's nothing like adults acting like children. What's the, what's the lovers here for? Ten of Cups, Pisces. Some of you, there is a new person here. These do mean new energies. Okay. But I really do feel like someone's dealing with this. They're trying to convince themselves that they're happy in something that they're not happy in. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords for the next 48 for Sag. Mm, some of you are with this person. You've just got children, maybe. Or you're not getting on with your parent, your mother or father here. Um, what's the Six of Wands? Seven of Swords, yeah. 
someone's trying to get away from the same energy, Virgo or Life Path 9, because they're trying to go towards something new here, but they're also trying to get away from a 9 energy, but they're also going towards a 9 energy, which could be a new person. So it could be something of what I know of here. And this Seven of Swords is like fear. You're going to leave me. You're going to walk out on me. You're going to abandon me. You're going to, you know, and it's kind of like, what? What's the tower here for? Uh, Why is the, sorry, it could be the tower. What's the hermit here for? Gemini or Capricorn person that works from home or is a mum? Um, you've got new energy all over the place. You've got like Libra and a new person. What's the page of cups? Why is the page of cups? Yeah, someone isn't speaking to someone. There is someone new here, but they're trying, they're trying to replace the energy. People do that. I mean, you guys might not be, you know, have the same condition as what I do, but I do, you know, when people are in relationships that are really going wrong, they soulmates are called in. You, you'll just meet a soulmate or you'll just bump into someone somehow and you're kind of like, how the fuck, you know, and people transition. They go from like a bad relationship and they maybe bump into someone and find someone new. And then what that is, is like they discuss what's going on in this bad relationship and they keep it from someone where their plan is to actually get out of it and to actually meet this new person here. This new person. Because I believe that the, the commitment that someone's in already hasn't got the legs to go anywhere. Like it just, it's not, it's just doing the same energy. Uh, you know, Einstein said the definition of doing the same thing over and over again is the definition of madness is to keep doing what doesn't work and to keep trying to make something work that doesn't, okay? So it's about giving up and doing something else or meeting someone else, okay? And then when you do that, like I said, Steve's algorithm, two pieces of energy that come together, they either spike and you have a great time and you form chemistry, or you meet and your energy goes down and you get suffocated and you get blamed and you feel down all the time and you can't feel that spark anymore. Okay, so this is why people could these can end up being new ones. Okay, so there you go. That's kind of what I've got for your next 48 hours. Um, Sagittarius, Taurus, or Life Path Fives. Uh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you want to help out, old Stevie baby, you do have some options. Patreon is what pays me. YouTube doesn't because we're not a big enough channel in order for me to be able to just survive on what YouTube pays. So I, I rely on people joining the join button or joining Patreon mainly. <coughs> for Patreon, it'll be the silver or gold tier, but you will get all of your weekly readings. That was done yesterday. Your whole weekly reading, full table spread, all clarified, telling you what you've got coming up. This is just the next 48 hours, roughly, okay? Um, to see what the turnouts of everything goes on, you'll need the silver or gold tier. The gold tier has all the teaching videos. There's like 65 of them all over there. Um, and if not, and you don't want to, but you can afford a little bit, then the join button is an option because you get one free question per month when I leave a post. Uh, you also get random readings that are thrown over there, and then you also get a secret video that I throw over there for you guys once in a while. But you also get glittery names in the green. You become a member of Steve's crew and family, and uh, we all help each other out. So thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.